Hey guys, you're watching Tekken Fitness. I'm Utkarsh and we're back with another video. Guys, I made this video like about six years from now in 2011 and it was about how to make your own internet TV station for free. That video was hit. However, I still keep on getting questions like, sir, how to make your own internet TV station? That process was so complicated that we were not able to follow it up. Or is there any simpler way to create your own internet TV station for free? Guys, as I said, that video was uploaded back in 2011. So at that point of time, the technology was not that advanced, obviously. However, on this date, there are a lot of tools freely available over the internet that you can actually use to create your own internet TV station for free. And those are actually very, very easy to use. So in this video, we're going to learn how to make your own internet TV station for free using these updated tools. So keep watching. We'll be back. So first open twitch.tv in your internet browser. Twitch.tv is a website that allows you to stream your content live on the internet. You just need to sign up for a free account. Sign up process is pretty simple and you need to follow as instructed on the screen. After signing up, you will get a verification link on your email which you need to click in order to verify your channel. Once that's done, log into your account and click on profile on left top corner and select dashboard from the menu. Once you are there on the dashboard, click channel link on right hand panel under the settings sections. On channel dashboard, you will see stream key link. You need this stream key to stream your content on Twitch. So copy this key and keep it somewhere safe. We'll talk about this bit later in a video. Once this is done, you're halfway down. Now open obsproject.com and download OBS Studio. I'm downloading it for Windows, but if you are a Mac or Linux user, you can download the respective version and rest all the process is pretty much the same. Once downloaded, start installation by following steps as instructed on the screen. Installation might take some time. After installation is done, launch OBS Studio. When you launch it, you will be presented with the privacy policy. Just go through it and click on OK. After that, it will ask you if you want to run beta setup wizard. Just click on yes button. Then you will see two config options if you want to set it up for streaming or recording. Since we want to stream our content live, just select the first option and click on next button. After that, it will ask you canvas resolution and frames per second. I'm selecting 1600 into 900 resolution and 30 FPS for simplicity. Click on next once you are done. Now we have to set up the streaming service. Since we are using Twitch in this case, just keep it selected. And now if you remember, we had a stream key from Twitch. Just paste that stream key that you copied earlier and click on next button. Once this is done, OBS will start configuring itself for you automatically. You just need to wait for some time. This process is long and might take several minutes depending on your system's performance. Just be patient. Once configuration is done, it will present you with settings that it will use for you based on your selections. Just click on apply settings button. Now you can use OBS to stream your content. You can see there are two sections here. One is scenes and other is resources. You can have multiple scenes in your stream, which you can switch easily from studio by single click or by using hotkeys, which is again configurable from settings. For each scene, you can have multiple media sources, which you can choose from tons of options, which OBS provides. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to add a media source which is one of my YouTube's video. You can browse media sources from your computer. Now that it has been added, I can adjust it on the screen and just have to click start streaming button. And that's it, we are streaming our content live on the internet. You can check your stream by logging on in twitch.tv and checking your channel by selecting channel option from your profile menu. And there you go guys, we can watch our live stream over the internet. Now we can also do some cool stuff like adding a channel logo. For that you can add other source within the same scene as I'm doing and select your channel logo from the system.
we can check if the logo shows up on our live stream. And yes, it does. Now you have full-fledged internet TV station along with studio which you can experiment with and bring up some cool stuff. So guys, as you saw, it's actually very easy to create your own internet TV station using open broadcaster software and twitch.tv. However, there are certain things that you need to keep in mind before starting your own internet TV station. So the most important thing is that you need to have a decent upload speed. Now, someone might say that we have 40 Mbps internet connection, so it should be fine for us. Actually, that is not the case. See, when you see the internet plans, they actually show you the download speed. So this means that 40 Mbps is your download speed, but that doesn't necessarily means that, you know, you have 40 Mbps upload speed as well. The upload speed might vary from carrier to carrier. So what you need to do is just go on speedtest.net and first check your upload speed. Ideally, if you want to stream HD content, you at least need to have 5 Mbps upload speed. However, I would personally suggest 8 Mbps would be ideal for your broadcast. Alright guys, if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe link here. Also press the bell icon below so that you can get the latest updates whenever we upload a new video on this channel. So that's it for this video. Until we meet again, goodbye, take care, namaskar.